The tally is in, and after 40 days of thinking, Governor Deal signed more than 70 bills into law today. Some of the highlights include a gun control law making it a felony to give a firearm to a convicted felon, a change to Ava's law expanding access to treatment for autism spectrum disorders, a mimosa mandate giving local residents a vote on whether to allow alcohol sales at restaurants on Sunday mornings, and a new law expanding access to medical marijuana. All right, so let's take a closer look at that last one. Medical marijuana is still a hot-button issue in Georgia, and now the law is expanding to allow patients with PTSD and intractable pain to use cannabis oil. But as Ryan Kruger shows us, it what the law, it's what the law doesn't do that has really fired up social media tonight. There are about 4,000 people in Georgia who are allowed to use a form of low-THC cannabis oil. They suffer from more than a dozen different conditions, including now post-traumatic stress disorder and chronic intractable pain. But the problem is those 4,000 people, well, they can't buy the cannabis oil here in Georgia. They certainly can't grow the cannabis to make the oil here, and they can't transport it here either, which is exactly why people like Eliza are all up in arms on social media. She asks, where are they supposed to get their medicine? That's a good question. So here's how the current system works. A doctor is allowed to prescribe cannabis oil only if the patient has a speciality card from the state. But see, then you have to break federal law just to get the oil. Since you can't get it in Georgia, you have to go to a state where it's legal, and then you have to cross multiple state lines. There might be a chance in the near future this bill that Governor Deal signed creates a panel to look into the possibility of allowing cultivation of marijuana for the purpose of creating cannabis oil. But by the time that panel makes its recommendations, well, we'll have a new governor and other new state leaders by then. So who knows what will happen? But we will be covering it every step of the way. All right, thanks, Ryan. If you want to read more about some of the other big bills Governor Deal signs or vetoed today, check out 11live.com. You'll find a link to our complete coverage on our homepage.